McGraw in the Morning continues on the Big 550 KTRS. Well, if you live in the city of uh, Ellisville, the lovely town of Ellisville, uh, the newly uh, the newly elected mayor, Adam Paul, has now been suspended. He's well-respected and well-liked by everybody except the city council. A unanimous vote last night to talk about it is the suspended mayor of Ellisville, Adam Paul. Adam, welcome back to KTRS here in St. Louis. Hey, how are you? Uh, you, 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 the, the vote was unanimous last night. I thought you had one supporter on the council. Yeah, they, uh, they set the meeting. Last night was like a bad parody of the Last Supper. Uh, they set the meeting for the one, the one person who, uh, voted, voted in favor of supporting me. Uh, she wasn't in town, supposedly. So <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> so, so the one person who who supports you, they schedule the meeting on the day she's out of town. Yes, sir. And this was a special meeting, correct? Yes. All right. But what, what would you expect? You know, when you when you have 300 people come in and say they don't want a Walmart in town, and then you know the council, the same council votes for that Walmart. You know, I mean, starting at day one, I knew this was this was definitely a, a viable option. Um, and, you know, I, I thought I could make it to April, but I guess not. So I've got 45 days of um, suspension. Um, there's a hearing set for March 20th. Um, and, you know, just to, just to give you a brief synopsis of some of those claims. Yeah, I, I want to go through those um, uh, line by line here. First, let's go with <laughs> the, Adam Paul. One of the allegations, they say that uh, you were drinking on the job. True or false? Absolutely false. Uh, first off, there's 60 people that come to those meetings. And secondly, there's six council members in the little closed uh, executive uh, executive room. Uh, those six council members, if I was if I was mixing a mini bar of drinks, uh, those six council members would have blown the whistle. The city manager would have. And there's also about five police officers at each, at each and every single meeting. So to say I'm boozing on the job is not only... Uh, that's probably the, the the most below the belt claim on there, um, and you know I've got a day job. I've got two children. My wife read that and she just broke down in tears. So you can imagine, um, you know, even, even going into my day job, I've been a business professional for you know over ten years, and to have that accusation come out, you know, that affects and you know affects my livelihood. So, right. Uh, uh, y- y- your day job, you are an accountant, correct? No, no, no. I'm a category manager for professional services at Amdocs. Okay, all right. Uh, they also said that uh, you use profanity. I, I would, I said shit zoo. Um, you know, long, erect, uh, curly-haired, short-legged dog. No, I'm kidding. No, that is one. Uh, <laughs> that is a uh, one allegation that uh, I would say I, I did. I did use the S word on a few different occasions, but. Those occasions also precede to one of the council members who I beat for mayor had revved her engine of her Mustang uh, at me when I walked by her car up to a meeting. Uh, also, you know, I've gotten emails from former mayor and current council member Perillo with uh, the salutation Mayor Pyle, okay? Uh, so, I mean, that's just a, a few examples. So, wait, 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 wait. You received an email directed at you from another council person, and, and you were addressed as Mr. Pyle? No, Mayor Pyle. And also with the links, I've gotten emails with links. What's your major malfunction? Blank, blank from the movie Full Metal. I mean, this is what, how I've been treated for for the last 11 months. Right. Um, and, you know, it, it's, been a, it's been an uphill battle. It's been a constant fight. You know, but, you know, I'm the youngest of all, those, all, the, all the members on the council, but, you know, the, the, the petulance and, and the immaturity has been quite obvious, not only to myself, but to all the people who attend those meetings. Sure. So it's been bad. Uh, suspended Mayor Adam Paul of uh, uh, Ellisville. They also say, and this one's sort of convoluted, and I want to give you time to address this one. The the What's the allegation that you used a message board for political contributors? <laughs> I addressed that last night. That is uh, the silliest thing I've ever heard. How they how they how they phrase that, okay, is that I used one of those blinking message boards, mobile message boards, for sure. you know, to say Farmers Market Thursday. Um, two weeks after, three weeks after I was elected, I got a business owner and a resident said, "Hey, we're having a uh, charity at a bowling alley for backstoppers in the Ronald McDonald House." Okay. Right. Can you ask the uh, city staff if they can 
um, you know, flash sheets of flashing that they use for the farmer's market for backstoppers and uh, Ronald McDonald charity. I just uh, forwarded on that message. <laughs> they flipped it and reversed it and said it was for a private event at a um, – I asked to see if, if they, I could use the, the message board sign for a private event for a political supporter. Well, the funny thing is, is the city supports backstoppers. The city police does, uh, and as well as the city. So, I mean, if the city, <laughs> that's just that, that's that's a big example of exactly what uh, you know a, the the steaming pile of crud that they put in that uh, resolution, um, and they they worded it to just destroy me, like I'm a monster. Right. They might as well put uh, murderer and, you know, child molester in there as well. Right. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, what, um, <clears throat> w- 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 tell me about the meeting last night. There was, uh, according to uh, reports, there were 300 people, and uh, most all were su- supporting you that were sitting in the audience. Yes. I mean, if, if that's a meeting that, you know, I'm going to be suspended on, that was... Um, it was wonderful. I had people uh, speak in favor of me, uh, you know, people crying, people giving me hugs. Uh, people know that I've been following this, what, what's really going on. Um, so it was, it was, um, it made me happy. It made me really, really happy to see, you know, because in a normal situation, if you had these 11 pages of allegations for, you know, just a normal mayor, people would, you know, throw, you know, they'd be run over the bus. Right. Um, and, you know, it just felt good that, my supporters knew what, what, what's really going on, and uh, you know they came and, and showed up in support for me. If you get impeached, you're, you're suspended now. In 45 days, if you are impeached, do they have a special election for the next mayor? Well, it, it's going to go through the, uh, the, the, the... See, I'm not going to have a fair hearing until this goes to the court. Sure, certainly understandable, but I guess my, my question is, if you get impeached, the next opportunity, will you run again for mayor? I, I I probably would. It, it depends. I mean, I, I honestly, I, I, I would. I know I've got the, the, the support here. Um, I know that, you know, that the people really, really like me. And it, it, it's an honor to serve. It really is. And I don't mean, I, I don't mean to make it, um, you know, to this big uh, circus that's going on. But unfortunately, that's sometimes what you got to do to clean things up. So Adam, Paul, let me ask you the, the bottom line question here. And that does this all stem from the fact that the people of Ellisville clearly have spoken. They do not want this Walmart. You ran on the platform of we don't want to give a tiff to Walmart, and the council overwhelmingly supports that tiff. And is it really about this Walmart tiff fight? Absolutely. In April, I was like an unexpected child. That I wasn't supposed to happen last April, and and uh, and, for, and unfortunately for them, I did. So. That has this is all sp- uh, spawned from that incident, and you know they've tried to double our city manager severance package. We've had, we've had a uh, council member Perillo sue his neighbor and four other residents, uh, blocking a, a recall effort. I mean this is this has gone on for the last 11 months, and 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 you know what? Sometimes you got to fight a little bit for the best. So. It absolutely stems from the Walmart, to answer your question. Uh, Mayor Paul, you you have been on the show numerous times. Every time we've asked you to come on the show, you've been gracious enough to uh, give us your time. Has the council spoken to any member of any media anywhere in the last couple of weeks? Um, I don't believe. I I don't believe so. I try to stay away from the media, especially the last week. I mean, it's been... Right. Uh, it's been terrible, but no, I have not heard. Uh, I've actually heard Chet uh, Pleven on your show a couple of days ago. Right, right, right. Uh, uh, but I have not heard anyone. Uh, I think Bob, Bob Perillo was on yesterday, from what I hear. Gotcha. So, All right. Uh, have, was, have you invited them on the show? I d- no. We've we've had calls into them, and uh, but we have a we have a nice track record of uh, people who are h- trying to hide things, not come onto the show. So. Uh, um, I, I don't have anything to hide, I promise you. Yeah, no, certainly understandable. Uh, Adam Paul, the suspended mayor uh, of Ellisville, I'll give you the last second here. What what do you want the people of St. Louis to know as you go through this fight? Uh, well, like Abraham Lincoln said, you position your feet in the right place and stand firm, and I guess that's what I intend to do, um, as I always have. But he also said a, 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 house, a house divided will not stand, so... We all know what happened to Abraham Lincoln. I just hope that uh, this gets resolved quickly and 
and uh, we can keep moving forward. Well, Abraham Lincoln was shot in the head. We don't want that I know. to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, we'll see my fate. So, All right. Uh, uh, thank you so much. The Ellisville government now in exile. Are you going to hold meetings like the uh, St. Louis City School Board? Or what are you going to do? Are you going to what are you going to do for the next forty-five days? Uh, you know what? I'm going to get some rest <laughs> and, and hang out with my kids. You know, I've got a three and a four-year-old, so. Uh, I'm going to follow everything that's going on closely because they're doing more uh, RFP, uh, another RFP for more TIF funds. So if you call this coincident and timing, uh, you know, it seems like it, it lays out perfectly for us. What's so. the next big corporation they're going to give uh, Ellisville tax money to? Well, there's uh, next door to Walmart. We just gave that Walmart, um, you know, a TIF, and there's a section called R, uh, RPA1. And we did an RFP that's due back in the middle of March. So coincidence, um, that RFP um, does not deny the use of more tax increment financing, community improvement district funds, TDDs. And, uh, you know, I've already spoken out, uh, out against that two meetings ago. So it's going to be um, exciting to see who comes out with that. I'm willing to bet my house that it's the Sansone group. Um, that, that's the only one that responds. And, you know, when I asked the question, well, I thought we brought a Walmart in because businesses want to move next to Walmart. Why would we even uh, offer more tax increment financing? And uh, the, the question is, is, why would you deny it? You're like Jefferson Davis in uh, uh, <laughs> d- 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 uh, uh, Mr. Smith went to Washington. That's, th- that's what you're like. Yeah. This is like, I'll tell you what this is. This is like. A grassroots version of the show House of Cards. I don't know if you watched. That. I did watch that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, it's just been bizarre. It's been the most bizarre uh, eleven months of my life. But um, like I said, it's been an honor, and and uh, I look forward to moving forward. So, uh, Mayor Adam Paul, the suspended mayor of Ellisville. Adam, we'll talk to you down the road. Good luck and hang in there. All right, thanks so much. You got it. Seven thirty-four here on the Big Five Fifty KTRS. There he is, the suspended mayor of Ellisville. Uh, in an absolute war with the city council over this uh, TIF and uh, Walmart suspended last night. Uh, there you, there were the allegations, and there were his response. Uh, if you missed any of it, we'll have it up on KTRS.com, and the, we had the KTRS TV running as well, so we'll put that up as well. 734 here on Big 550 KTRS. Traffic and weather in just a moment. But first, let me tell you about St. Louis Closet Company. 